In this video, we're going to be working on yet another MacBook Pro. This is the 2013 13 inch model, board number A20 3476. Customer brought this in because it does not power on. You see a green light on the charger, you see the orange light on the charger, but the computer does not power on. Big Boss already removed the motherboard so we can work on it. And right now, the problem is most definitely related to the motherboard. Now, the first thing I want to do is we're going to plug the charging cable in and I want to confirm that we are getting a green light on the charger plug the charging cable in and we do see a green light and now an orange light so that part of the equation is done what should we check first since we have a green light the first thing I want to check is the 12 volt rail if the 12 volt rail is present, then great, we move on to something else. If we have issues with the 12 volt rail, then we have to focus on that part of the circuit. Let's open up the circuit diagram. And right now what I want to check, this whole circuit that you see here, it generates the 12 volt rail. So let's skip everything inside the circuit and see if we have a 12 volt output. We're going to inspect the output at F7140. Let's open up the board diagram. Okay, so F7140, the fuse is located on back of the board, bottom left, and the fuse is this component that is white in color. So we're going to check both ends of the fuse and see if we have 12 volts. Maybe we can show the screen and the multimeter at the same time black probe on ground and let's test and look at that we are getting 0 0.6 volts instead of 12 that's a clear indication that we have a short somewhere on the board we do not know where the short is coming from but we definitely have a short and if we test the other end of the fuse we also get 0 0.695 so we have an issue we have a problem 12 volt rail is not present and something is shorting out that rail since the reading is an indication of a clear short, the next thing I want to do is use the thermal cam so we can save time. I do not want to spend a lot of time working on this board. If there is a clear short on the board, we should be able to see it under the thermal cam. And that's what I'm going to do. And look at that. There is a clear indication of something awkward going on here. I'm going to point the tweezer over it. This component right here. Oh, oh, it's a capacitor. We most likely have a shorted capacitor. We can verify this by testing this capacitor in diode mode. So let's put the meter in diode mode. Red probe on ground. And you see, we have a short. Let's go ahead and remove this capacitor. And I'm almost positive that removing this capacitor is going to solve our problem. That's the beauty of having a thermal camera. Waste no time. Waste absolutely no time. This board may turn out to be a five minute job. We still charge the full price, of course because the customer is not going to pay us more money if we spend two days working on this board. So whether it's a one minute job or a two day job, the price is the same. We quote the customer a flat rate for fixing the board. Let's test this component in continuity mode, off circuit. And yes, the component is definitely shorting out. So let's go ahead and test the board under the thermal camera again. I have the charging cable plugged in power bank on and look at that look at that the CPU is hot the heatsink is hot and the capacitor that we removed is right over here there are two caps here we took one of them out the one that was causing the heat spot or the one that was causing the short and we do not have any more heat spots on this area of the board right now the only thing I see hot on the board is the CPU which is normal and if the CPU is on it means the board is working 
It took us only two or three minutes to figure out the problem. Two or three minutes to figure out the problem. No alcohol needed, no feeling the board with your fingers, none of that stuff that will waste your time. Just a good thermal camera and that's it. I'm gonna grab a donor board. We should have a similar one here. And we're gonna remove that capacitor off the donor board and put it on the customer's board. And it looks like today you're gonna have a nice and short video, even though a lot of the viewers ask for long videos. Long videos means more time editing the video. I do not mind doing it as long as I have the time. But when I do a 28 minute video, I have to watch the 28 minute video. I have to do edits on the 28 minute video. And then I have to do one final checkup on the video to make sure nothing was missed before we render and upload the video. It takes time. And the reason I have to edit videos is because I get interrupted a lot when working and I do not want to have all that interruptions in the video. Let's remove this capacitor from the donor board and we're going to solder it on the customer's board. We should be all good. Capacitor is in place. Okay, I would love it if this capacitor was straight. And let's go ahead and test. We're going to test the 12 volt rail to see if it's present now. Let me turn off the fume extractor and go ahead and test 12.6 <laughs> job is done how long did this repair take i would say three minutes three minutes to fix a macbook awesome awesome i'm gonna give this board to big boss to reassemble and i'll be back all right so big boss reassembled the motherboard and if you look here, this is the cap that we changed right here. And let's go ahead and try it. We're going to plug the charging cable. We have a green light, we have an orange light. And power it on the fan is spinning Ta -da! <laughs> I have candy in my mouth so I do not want to laugh too hard it's working three minutes three minutes to fix this MacBook the power of a thermal camera awesome let me put this on the side and I just want to go over one thing quick. We got a gift from the UK. It's not an electronics gadget. It's not a tool. It's something completely different. It's medical. It's a medical product. The customer sent us about, uh, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, about 10. Inside the packaging, there's a keychain, and inside the keychain, there are two tablets, aspirin. And it's used if somebody's having a heart attack, you can take one and it can save lives. And he wrote a nice letter here. Let me read you what the letter says. So I'll be right there. Okay, so let me go over this letter quick before I get interrupted again. I am now retired with a little more time, so I started subscribing to a few YouTube channels. Not just saying this, but Northridge Fix is one of my favorites. 
Just before retiring, we had a death in the family due to a heart attack. It was made all the sadder because we are told he was not offered aspirin at the scene. Wondering how many other people this had happened to. And in an effort to reduce such incidents, my wife and I used our savings to design, create, and bring to market the ASPOD. The ASPOD enables people over 50 and those in the risk groups to carry immediate aspirin with them all the times. Death are cut to around 25% and consequential damage to the heart reduced if 300 milligram soluble aspirin is taken after calling 911, but before the responder arrives. I wondered if you would accept a few ASPOD for yourself, dad, big boss, and other family members who may benefit from carrying aspirin on their keying. I hope they never need to take it. To look at the product, please go to www.aspod.com and this is not a sponsored ad. This is not a paid ad. Customer did not ask me to do this. I'm just doing it because I appreciate the customer thinking about us and mailing those over. Kind regards and keep making videos. Tony Norris. Thank you, Tony. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that you are enjoying our videos. Awesome. So that's it. I'm going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.